Good morning, this is Jamel here in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm actually here today with Iris. She's gonna share a little bit about supportive care services here in Hawaii. So without further ado, here is Iris. Hi, thank you, Jamel. Um, my name is Iris. I've been a social worker for over 30 years, and I'm, I'll tell you a little bit about the HMSA supportive care program. So back in 2013, HMSA decided that they wanted to start a program that would benefit patients who were with advanced diseases who were not quite ready for hospice. So the beauty of the supportive care program is that it allows patients to continue to receive whatever treatments they were doing, whether it was chemotherapy, radiation, receiving blood transfusions, um, having paracentesis treatments, they can continue all of that. They can seek physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapies, anything that they were already doing while also receiving the benefits of hospice and the support that hospice could provide. So right currently, HMSA focuses on a few diagnoses, um, cancer, COPD, liver disease, and now they've added dementia. So these are the um, diagnoses that we work with. So we have been educating the community that the difference of hospice and supportive care really is the fact that you get the best of both worlds. You can pursue treatments that you were already pursuing and you can also get the support of a nurse, a social worker, a chaplain, CNAs, volunteer coordinators through the hospice program. Um, with the supportive care program also, patients are allowed to go to the emergency room if something happens. If they become hospitalized, then our services just go on hold. We resume care again when they come out of the hospital. So there's really no downside to supportive care. It's a really good benefit and it helps families feel supported through a very terminus point in time. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Iris. As you can uh, learn a little bit more about HMSA supportive care, you can also go to the HMSA website. You can also go to bristolhospicehawaii.com to learn more about supportive care services. And then again, like Iris mentioned, it is definitely a win-win situation for the patients, the family, the doctors involved, and the whole community because basically they're getting the best of both worlds, being able to get support from our team as well as continue to receive treatment or curative measures from the medical community. Again, thank you, Iris. Mm -hmm. Have a good thank day. You. Again, from uh, from Iris and Jamel here in Hawaii, we want to say aloha. aloha. Thank you.